Microsoft requires Active Directory sites in order to ensure that certain services are available in a variety of locations so that clients have the ability to access those resources as close to the client as possible. In some cases, that requires that sites that don't have a domain controller have a domain controller provide services. This is called site coverage. Key challenges with Active Directory information is related to the administrative intervention that's requiring an administrator to go into 80 sites, create a site, create the subnets that belong to the site, and that's a manual process. In a lot of organizations, the network team is responsible for the creation and deployment of networks physically in the infrastructure. However, with Active Directory, Microsoft requires that you go in and statically configure that information. And there's not necessary necessarily correlation between what happens inside of Active Directory for the sites and subnets configuration versus what's happening on the network. So a primary challenge here is ensuring that that data is kept consistent. That leads to a better performing Active Directory environment. Authentication, group policies, site aware applications, and replication of Active Directory itself. InfoBlocks helps to solve this problem in a number of ways. Let's cover the first method that we can use in a Microsoft environment with InfoBlocks to keep data consistent between 80 sites and what's physically deployed on the network. In an InfoBlocks architecture, we can deploy an IPAM configuration where InfoBlocks directly synchronizes with Active Directory, whether it be a single forest, multiple forests, whatever the case might be to suit any uh, Infoblox uh, and Microsoft environment. The key piece to this is then being able to leverage Infoblox's network discovery functionality so that we can go out, talk to routers and switches, and identify the types of networks that are deployed out in the environment, pull that data back into a centralized, consistent, converged UI, along with specific data fields for the AD sites data. From there, we can then report on discrepancies and differences between the two configurations and provide a list back to the Active Directory individuals who are responsible for maintaining that data so that they can update it. Or, for those customers who choose to streamline that process, you can actually change the data directly within InfoBlocks and push that back into Active Directory. InfoBlocks can help resolve a key challenge with Active Directory sites information by directly integrating with Active Directory and synchronizing that data into the InfoBlox UI. Then correlating that data with network discovery information then gives the perspective of what's happening in a single UI across both network deployed subnets and Active Directory defined subnets. From there we can provide actionable information to ensure that the Active Directory sites data then mirrors or accurately reflects the network routing information.